Alright people, Max Salden here again, welcome back to another video. Today I'm playing the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1, starting with Metal Gear Solid 1998. I uh, just thought I'd go over some of the harder and trickier moments to do when you're going for the Fox rank or the Big Boss rank. Uh, at the start, just head up to that wall, spy on the guard, wait for him to move. Uh, every time he moves out of the way, just follow him and you'll eventually make it up to this top right corner. And just hang around here until the elevator comes, swapping between the back and the right side of this forklift. Keeping an eye on this guard, he's the one that can spot you. So uh, I would just stay in first person view mode here. And whenever you see him coming towards you, just move behind the forklift. And when he's uh, out of a uh, out of your eye line, move back around the right side. Uh, I'm going to speed up uh, this footage to two times speed, just because there's not a lot happening in these moments, and it's just uh, it'll just get us through this quicker and make sure the video isn't like two hours long. So there, he's coming back towards me. So quickly dive around this end and then back move back around when the elevator starts coming down um, just wait here I'm showing the opening because a lot of people get stuck in the first area and give up immediately when they have no radar and they think it's just too annoying to get past these guys so I wanted to leave the intro in just because the first step is quite usually the trickiest to get people uh, going in a big boss or fox run uh, obviously wait for the spotlights to move and then equip your chaff grenade throw one out don't want, worry about wasting it here because you'll replenish them later always run with a grenade of some form equipped because it actually speeds snake up don't stop for anything when you're doing this so that you can make it to this ventilation shaft without the guard seeing you if you stop at all and stop running he will find you so make sure you're going full pelt to get to the ventilation shaft for the cell fight this is really tricky um, but what you have to do is just hammer square as soon as the cutscene ends get rid of those three guys and then you're not allowed to attack anybody else to make sure you keep your kill count down for the final ranking uh, you have to let Merrill take these people out now it's really hard to do without getting hit but I like to start up around there and then just start running in a circle around these people. Sometimes they will get you with a rifle bash. But that does a lot less damage than a full like bullet uh, on snake does. So it's actually better to just take a rifle bash to get through this. With uh, taking as little damage as possible. See it does damage you but it's not as bad as getting shot. You can afford to take about two rifle bashes I would say. Uh, and otherwise just keep running around in this circle. I have done this without taking any damage at all before. But it really does depend on Merrill's AI. Sometimes I will change course if there's only two guys instead of three. Because it's easier to avoid them if you go backward, back on yourself. When they throw in the grenades obviously stay in the top corners. Uh, again start over on the left side for these guys. Uh, if Merrill's getting shot at and you don't want to run into the bullet, uh, turn around and change it up and come over to this side. Uh, but whatever you do, just try to get a rifle bash instead of being shot. And it's better to go to Ocelot having taken as little damage as possible. Now, we, actually what you should do there is pause behind that pillar so you don't get shot like me. That was actually a bad move on my part. But really, Ocelot, his pattern is just go up to the top, aim over there, go over here, aim down diagonally. I missed him that time, but uh, that is the pattern. Uh, I missed him again there. I was getting used to the PS5 controller. The analog stick was a bit different. But really, all you're doing, run up there, get a shot on him here, then a shot diagonally, back up around the other side. He'll start running that way. So uh, if he's too fast, I like to move on him this way and force him to go back to reset the pattern uh, if he's uh, too fast for me. But yeah, just keep going back and forth like this. Don't chase him the whole way around the place. It's just a waste of time. 
you just want to keep on this side of this uh, arena and keep taking those diagonal shots and uh, get a shot on him when he's uh, stopped to reload obviously that's the safest time to get a shot on him uh, but I was having some trouble with the analog stick so that's why I got shot in the beginning I was I, I turned too quick around the corner or something I think I started chasing him here just because he had no health left and I just wanted to finish it up but yeah that is the pattern with Ocelot really and it is it is doable, no damage ocelot if you stick to that pattern. Uh, I just thought I'd put the lasers in here. People often get stuck on the lasers. Um, but I just step slowly, what one at a time, just keeping an eye on the next one uh, in front of Snake. And as soon as it goes up past his head, that's when it's safe to move. Watch it hit the floor and then back up. And as soon as you get to this door, just start crawling so you can get through the door quicker. It'll save you some time when you're speedrunning. Uh, for the tank fight, just start running to the left as soon as the cutscene ends. Just hold left on the analog stick and stick to this side with a grenade out so that you move faster. And if you do it quick enough, the tank will not hit you. Uh, plant a mine in front of him. That'll uh, disrupt the tank's speed. And then sort of get get in front of where the uh, tank, the main gun is. And that's sort of the position where you have to stand to get grenades to go directly into the hole. Uh, and also sort of try to stand as far back as where I was. Just that correct amount of distance. I just spammed grenades as many as I could. And I got them in the hole both times with that level of accuracy. That was a really quick fight. And that's going to be really good for when you're uh, trying to get a speed run of this a completely no damage tank is very helpful when you move on to gray fox here he is tricky you have to be very fast stay on him at all times or he will punish you if you move too far away from him uh, you get your first few shots free then i like to move to the center because he has to jump in here and he always jumps to the same place when he goes up in the air like that, run away from him and then run back in when he hits the ground to get another three shots. I wasn't quick enough at punching him there so he punished me. So always stay on him. And uh, even if you think you're punching too early, you probably aren't. So get your shots in on him as quickly as possible. Uh, and try to follow him to the areas that he's going to. Unless he does that jump where you have to get out of the way because that is like a one shot hit. A one shot kill on extreme and hard if you have low enough health so yeah you just have to stick on him and get in your punches when you can i i was too slow there or too far away when i started punching so he punished me again there but luckily because this is only hard and not extreme he didn't do as much damage as he normally does but he is tricky uh you just have to get his pattern down this part can be annoying when he goes invisible. If you don't make it to him quick enough, he'll run out from where he is. And normally he'll damage you really badly if he makes it to you before you make it to him. I just equipped the thermal goggles just to help me see where he is uh, easier. Uh, I just about managed to make it to him there. So he was about to run out. It might be good to equip a chaff grenade to run a bit faster to get close to him. But immediately unequip it once you get near him because he will see it and he will whip out his sword and be mad as hell that you tried to use a weapon during this fight um this part this is really where it gets pretty easy now to be honest when he starts doing this teleporting thing just run near him and bait him into doing his big haymaker uh but make sure when you run close to him that you run away immediately so he can't hit you and he'll just miss every time and you can get your hits in easily on him. If you've made it to this stage, uh, you kind of basically have done it. But don't get sloppy because if you don't run far enough away from him, that huge haymaker punch will just wipe Snake out. I think it is a one shot uh, kill if you have this amount of health that I have. Uh, but yeah, this is easier than the rest of the fight. You just have to bait him, make him do that big punch. And then run in and hit him. But be warned sometimes he teleports twice in a row. And he can catch you out when his health is really low. So just be ready for that. And again don't get cocky. He can punish you sometimes. 
uh, especially on extreme I noticed he likes to do that uh, double teleport thing and uh, when you get his health down to nothing make sure you run away from him when he starts exploding so you don't get hit by the shockwave and then get out a pistol or the famas and just get a single shot on him uh, to finish him off when he's in this state and that's Grey Fox down. One of the harder fights if you're uh, a bit unfamiliar with the controls. And I took a few shots there that I sh really shouldn't have. Uh, I could have no damage that. But I just wanted to get the video out for people. Uh, so I didn't uh, go for no damage. Uh, Psycho Mantis, he's actually quite easy if you have high health i'm on hard so your health does replenish after boss fights doesn't go the whole way up but it's a lot easier than on extreme and really this is for the fox uh, code name rather than big boss though a lot of these similar elements and tricks and things do come in handy on extreme uh, so just punch out meryl don't waste any of your stun grenades because you will need them later uh, this is the new menu for uh, swapping to controller 2 you have to hit L1 and R1 it'll bring up this new menu and then you swap to the second controller port and that tricks Psycho Mantis into not being able to read your mind anymore back in the day you had to physically uh, change your controller to the second port it was just one of those really cool things no other games did and it really set Metal Gear apart uh, but immediately after that Hideo warning goes away just chase him immediately to where he is and get a shot off on him because if you don't get him straight away he'll throw this ball of psychic energy at you and it, be, it can be quite damaging uh, for these chairs obviously get on the floor get quite close to him so you can stand up get a shot on him get straight back down uh, wait for the chairs to go further out from you again get up get another shot on him then get back down so you don't get hit by the chairs uh, and then basically just get as many shots on them as you can stay away from the center of the room so you don't get hit with those big statues and after you've got another shot in on them uh, duck so these lamps can't hit you or lanterns or whatever they are you can get a shot in on them if you're fast enough but I would wait until they sort of finish their pattern and not really take the risk especially if you have a lot less health than me and if you are on extreme uh, it's good not to take risks even if you're trying to speed run because you have to he has a lot of health and it just takes a really long time to redo this fight if you uh, do fail so I wouldn't worry about taking risks if you did really well against Grey Fox and the tank and Ocelot you have a bit of time to spare and uh, can take this pretty slowly again once he does the hideo black message thing he'll try to do this throwing psychic energy at you thing so uh, may be ready for that and just run out of its way if you can't get to him quick enough to uh, sort of stun him and get a shot in on him uh, so he can't actually throw the psychic energy at you and after that he just sort of repeats the same pattern as he did before here just gets the chairs out uh, he'll get mad if you get his health down far enough and he'll start using Meryl again uh, be very quick here run to Meryl and punch her out as quickly as possible uh, because if she gets a shot on you it is really devastating he hit me with the psychic energy there uh, when you're uh, do taking out Meryl try to get a shot in on him so he doesn't do that uh, and if you're close enough you can just punch him it's faster than shooting uh, he loves to throw a psychic ball of energy after you knock down Meryl so just try to get him before he gets you if your health is really low that can be quite devastating uh, obviously here you have to punch out Meryl again a third time before she uh, shoots herself luckily I was right next to her and I got in some shots in Mant on Mantis there um, I de equipped the thermal goggles for some reason, I uh, guess just to give my eyes a break. They can uh, tire you out if you're looking at this red screen for a while. Uh, but yeah, you do sort of need them when he's going uh, invisible and using his stealth camo. Uh, almost missed there. Uh, luckily, I managed to get him before he did his little psychic energy attack. Uh, he's basically again repeating the same pattern. 
fly around, do psychic energy attacks, and then start summoning. This time it does change a little. He summons everything at once. But don't panic. All you have to do is lay down right in front of him. So that when he does end this, that you can just get your attacks in on him really quickly. Always stand right in front of him. Uh, so that when he summons these paintings and everything, uh, you, you they do miss you. I was a bit of out of the lane there, so I got hit by some stuff. But it's alright, because I'm only on hard, so I didn't lose that much health. But again, it is possible to no damage run Mantis. If you're uh, really careful with what you're doing, especially on hard. Extreme, it's a bit more difficult. I think things are a little bit... Uh, trickier because you will have less health uh, if you've been fighting the other bosses unless you manage to no damage all of them which was which would be pretty impressive uh, so well done if you did do that after the fight make sure to change your controller port back to the first port and then you can continue on with the game uh, this next section to get past the wolves the first time it's just gonna be really annoying you just have to equip a grenade so you run faster and just try to stay out of their way. Uh, I I was really terrible at this. So I got hit twice. Which is just terrible. But now after that first attempt. We now have a trick. Where we will never get hit by it again. Uh, you basically have to punch Meryl. To annoy her. And then immediately. Immediately equip the cardboard box. And Snake will be safe in here. And the wolf will just pee on the box. And from now on, this box will now protect you from the wolves. They will smell the scent of a wolf off the box. And that will protect you. I'm not joking, it actually works. Uh, so skipping on a bit here, this is after you've backtracked to get the sniper rifle. Just thought I'd talk about this part because it can be tricky. Obviously, you'll probably equip uh, thermal goggles to see the lasers. But I'm pretty good at getting past them without even looking now. You just sort of have to go diagonally at the right moment and you can get past there. Uh, getting out of here is annoying. Uh, you have to wait till that guy's heading over to the right and then equip a grenade. So you run faster and go all the way around the outside. This is a longer method but I found it to just be safer than the other methods people use. Uh, obviously to see that guard at that door you're supposed to put your back against the wall so you can see him going past but I sort of just listened for for his footsteps and I sort of just knew when to run but yeah this part can be tricky so make a save on the elevator before you go out there because you might have to retry it a few times it can be one of the trickier parts um, next sniper wolf this is just a big cheese moment Sort of get to this area where I'm standing here and use first person view to line yourself up with the like uh, furthest left corner of Sniper Wolf's platform. And when you have like a good shot of this one little area that she likes to stand in, uh, you can shoot her all day from here and she cannot hit you at all. So if you're low on health, this is where you want to just camp on this position line yourself up first in first person view and she will always run over here eventually and you can get a shot on her and this is just the safest way to do this uh, it does take quite a while so you have to have done pretty well on all the previous bosses to have a good uh, you know sort of time play time so that uh, camping out like this doesn't really affect you too much um, but trust me she always comes back to this corner and when she shoots at you, there's like an invisible barrier that she's hitting uh, that's against the wall, snakes behind. And the game just won't let her shoot you in this position. But we can thankfully get our shots off on her. Uh, it's a bit annoying to uh, talk over this part because it is just the same thing over and over again. Just sort of camping here and popping the... Uh, diazepam or whatever it's called whenever you're whenever snake starts to snake too much or whenever snake starts to snake too much uh what i meant to say was when he starts to shake his hands too much just pop a will pop one of those and uh yeah she will just keep coming back here she doesn't really learn her lesson for an expert sniper uh that her position knowing that her position has been made she just keeps coming back to the same position but this is just one of the really the oldest tricks in the book. Uh, just a 
really old uh, speedrunner and cheese strategy that I think most people know about. Uh, Sniper Wolf also has another cheese method for her second phase that I think most people know about where you just use the Nikita missiles. If you try to use them here I think uh, Wolf just blows them up or actually your uh, choice to use them might actually, it might actually be blocked by the game itself I'm not sure but yeah this method is really all you need to do is line yourself up with this corner and just sort of get a good view of this and uh, you will just take her down really it'll be really slow but it is the safest way and it's the way to get through without getting shot at all and if you're like one shot away from death and you just you just have no option but to do this really uh, if you want to like survive and it is consistent like she always does that uh, she always goes over there eventually so yeah that's sniper wolf down equip your chaff grenade again so that you run a bit faster replenish your sniper rifle ammo because you will need it for the three guys on the walkway of the tower that starts shooting at snake after the rappel jump uh, thing uh, I'll just say about them now while this footage is playing out because I think I skipped over it to make the video shorter uh, but yeah, everyone knows how to escape prison, just ring Otacon, use the red sauce. Uh, but for the walkway guards, uh, shoot them three times each. And then instead of putting a fourth shot on any of them, because they will start firing back once that happens, uh, just use a Nikita missile to take out the guy in the middle. And the blast radius with the missile, it'll just take out the other three guards. As for repelling down itself... Uh, there really isn't a great strategy that I know of, so I didn't record my footage of it. Uh, anyway, after you escape the cell, come back to the second floor basement where Otacon was. Make sure you grab that body armor, which is down there to the left. Use a chaff grenade to get in there. Uh, you will need the body armor, so grab that after you escape the torture room. Uh, then make it back all the way to the uh, communications tower. Throw a stun grenade in this door before you walk in. So that it blows up immediately when these guys get close to you. And then start running up the stairs. Equip your body armor that you picked up on your way back here. And sort of run to like the 8th flight of steps I would say. Uh, I haven't counted it here but I think it is the 8th flight of steps. And then you can start deploying stun grenades. And if you wait until the 8th floor, uh, I think you will get through it with like 2 or 3 stun grenades left. Uh, as long as you don't like spam them all the time. I'll speed up this footage because there really isn't a lot of uh, anything else to say really. Uh, just keep using your stun grenades. And uh, yeah, you should get through this without getting hit. Or maybe you'll get hit once, but it won't really matter because after this the repel section happens. Where you're repelling down the building and it replenishes your health to full. And again, I didn't show the repel section because while it can be tricky, most people can get through it. Uh, and if you're just going for the fox code name, uh, as long as uh, if you're on hard, like your health will still replenish after you fight the chopper. So as long as you don't go through it with like barely any health left, that'll make fighting the chopper difficult. Uh, I think I it's like pretty okay just for me not to show the repel uh, section just to save time. But yeah, I would hold down and pre spam X immediately as soon as the repel section starts. And then sort of stay like down and to the right. Uh, I think that's the strategy I normally use. But anyway, skipping along past all that, I thought it would be better to just get straight into the hind D fight. Uh, a lot of people have like trouble with liquid, but uh, this is basically his pattern. Hit him there, and then move around over to this side. Um, and he will be uh, flying in back over to the front side of the tower. Get him again there, and uh, basically use this big box uh, or big like metal container thing. Uh, just to hide. I got hit in the back there. I should have stayed around the front side of it. Uh, so be warned about that. But, and keep your body armor equipped. So he does as little damage as possible. 
since this is only hard mode again I'm not worried about doing no damage or trying to take as little uh, damage as possible I mean it is better if you take as little damage as possible even on hard but again you do have the safety net on hard of them still replenishing snakes health a little after you defeat a boss it doesn't go the whole way back up like on easy or normal or whatever but yeah it does it does still replenish so you can afford to take maybe one or two hits but you do want a decent amount of health to survive the guys in the elevator after this um so yeah this is just the first stage um once he says nice shot or uh something like that that means he's gonna use his big missile attack on you so uh equip your stun grenades so you run faster and come up here to replenish your stinger missile and uh, um, uh, can't even speak to replenish your stinger uh missile ammo just in case you missed a few shots and you need your uh you need your ammo back you are allowed to use one ration during this run uh even for the fox code name and on extreme for big boss but i was trying to refuse to use a ration just in case people were doing worse than me uh I just wanted to, uh, you know, have that lifeline there for people that it is possible to get through all this when you have very low health and without using a ration. But if you are completely getting destroyed here by liquid um, and you just cannot do it, you don't think you'll be able to get through it, maybe you could use the ration now, but I would really recommend saving it uh, for one of these elevator fights. Just because a lot of people get stuck on the elevator fights and they can be tricky. Uh, when he starts hiding down along the side of the building, I like to just stay behind this box again, really, and sort of watch where he's at. And when he comes back up, you should already get a free shot on him. And then just hide around the corner of wherever the opposite a end of where he's at is. And then move back to the center of this box uh, because you do get shielded pretty well here he can still hit you depending on where he flies to but you just sort of get a sense of when he can't hit you at all and it's good to just stay here like that um when he's right above you like this he can't really hit you so it's okay not to run and hide and get an extra shot off on him i had taken quite a bit of damage at this point uh but i still wasn't that worried because again i do know that the on hard mode uh your health does replenish uh so I, that was a pretty lucky shot there i got on him i just fired and it was locked onto him well enough that the rocket still hit him uh but yeah don't take too many risks like that because snake can blow himself up pretty easily once you hit him with the final rocket make sure you hide behind something because he can still be shooting at you when you're doing this uh when you're doing that final attack on him and then obviously hide behind the big metal box cylinder it's not even a cylinder it's a rectangle uh whatever this thing is on the roof anyway just stay behind it because by some miracle uh the missile it just hits this and snake just survives it somehow uh he's just that badass i guess <laughs> the end missile just does no damage to him but somehow uh, Liquid's gunfire from his machine gun or whatever on the chopper does damage him. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, just skip all these cutscenes as usual and Snake's health will replenish a little. If you're on hard and you're going for the Fox run, you're still on course. So this bit, this is really annoying. Uh, there's a lot of different strategies people do, like choking out the enemy throwing them around uh but i like to just go for the old hold down square and x and run around in a circle and spray and pray it's really the only thing that i can recommend uh keep your body armor equipped and just try to be less clumsy than me and make a save before you get on the elevator like after you've beaten liquid and run down all the stairs run back out to the walkway area sorta and save out there so that if you do save uh, and fail you get to come back just at that walkway area 
and don't have to run down all the stairs again. Uh, this is the second sniper wolf fight. I think everybody knows this cheese by now. It's just they use the Nikita missiles on her instead of sniping her. Really not a lot to say about this. Uh, just run to the far right of the map. And stand in that li little sort of enclave or whatever you would call it. And just fire your missiles over and over again. Uh, try not to waste any because you will need these. Uh, you will need Nikita missiles against uh, Raven for the strategy I like to do against him. Uh, people might have a rough time with it because I sort of messed up uh, when I was fighting Raven. I let him get out of the place you're supposed to attack him from. But I managed to recover and the general idea of taking him out with the Nikita remains the same. It's sort of just getting behind a box that he can't get to. And uh, just firing off missiles fast enough that he uh, just he can't fight back. And it's basically a pretty tough fight unless you cheese him. And on extreme there's a more reliable way to take him out. But I'll be getting to that shortly. For the blast furnace this first guy. Just knock this thing. Make him come over there to check it. Wait there and then equip your chaff grenade and run over as quickly as possible. Uh, watch out for this thing. You have to press X to sort of duck down, then stand back up again. And uh, don't waste any time. Just get across there as quickly as possible. Make sure your chaff grenade is out so that you can run faster to get past all those guards. Uh, then you have to fight these guys. I sort of messed up here. You're supposed to throw them over the edge. Always run at them uh, from the side that you want to throw them. So that Snake will flip them over his shoulder and make sure they fly off the edge. I was getting frustrated and couldn't get this last guy so I just choked him out. But yeah the best way to deal with those three guys is to throw them off the edge. By running at them and smashing square. That's how you throw people. Uh, watch out for this camera afterwards. It's always best to just take it out with a stinger if you're low health. Just because it can hit you pretty easily. Now for Raven, again you're going to need Nikita, Nikita missiles, so make sure you pick up the ones outside this room beforehand and make sure you didn't waste any by uh, missing on uh, Sniper Wolf. Uh, you can also plant some mines around the area uh, so that he can run into that, uh, but the main strategy is pick a place where you can sort of hide and get him with missiles. He was too far away here, but I decided I would try to stick to this. Normally on extreme you can stand here, or maybe it's the next one over, and sort of get him. So yeah, this area, it, was, it wasn't working out that well, but eventually I managed to get him to this area. And I think I just stood here. And as soon as your rocket blows up, start smashing square to fire another one so that he doesn't like get out of this stun locked sort of phase. And uh, just keep firing the Kita missiles at him. It can be tricky to get an area where he sort of gets stuck like this. On extreme, it's a lot easier. He starts in a different position. Uh, but yeah, I was going on hard here, so he started in a different area that I wasn't prepared for. But thankfully I still managed to get a good place to just spam Nikita rockets on him. And again as soon as the previous one explodes be hammering square or whatever button fires for you so that you shoot a new rocket immediately. And that's how you sort of spam Nikita missiles and take down Raven. To get past this guard because this is the other bit that uh, trips people up. Just watch him and wait for him to go past that pillar. And when he disappears wait for about two seconds uh, and then just start running again again make sure you have your chaff grenade out so that you're running a bit faster snake just seems to run at the same speed as the guards once he has a grenade equipped for some reason and it's just an old speeder on their strategy they always have a chaff grenade equipped uh, obviously this is the part where you lose the pal key you can't really skip this cutscene but just after that um, I kind of messed up there, but make sure you have your body armor equipped so you can take that shot from uh, that guard and then just equip your chaff 
and you can r outrun him pretty easily. Uh, to get the pal key back, you have to hunt a rat. Uh, always look down these steps first. Sometimes you get lucky and the rat's just there immediately and you can just blow it up straight away. Uh, but then if he isn't there, come around this side. Throw a chaff grenade just so this camera doesn't get you. I was a bit late at throwing the chaff. Uh, but look around this area. And don't worry if the rat isn't there immediately because sometimes it takes him a little minute to come out of his little rat uh, vent. Uh, but get a shot off on him as quickly as you can so he doesn't run away. Because uh, this can waste a lot of time if you're unlucky. I would actually make a save after you escape that guard and get down to this level. Just save at the bottom of the ladder and reload if you get really bad RNG with the rat and he managed to outrun you or something. So after each pal key entry, I would save again, uh, just in case you mess up this next bit, which is how you get past this guard on the walkway when you're going from the other, other direction. You're gonna need your cardboard box and basically come out to about here, stop here and equip your box and just sit here until the guard uh, comes your way and notices that you're sitting there. Uh, don't panic, just let the guard come over to you. Uh, obviously it wouldn't be Metal Gear Solid if you didn't have a cardboard box. Wait for him to be confused. When he turns around, unequip the box, run at him and flip him. Uh, just as quick as you can do it. And then equip a grenade so that you can outrun him. And if you do that quick enough, he, he won't see you. Uh, but he has, to have his, he has to have his back to you so that you can flip him. Anyway, finish doing the key card stuff, and then it's time to fight Liquid. Again, save after each key card just so you don't mess up, or just in case if you mess up on any of those runs to the freeze the key area or the blast furnace to heat up the key, uh, that it's not that far that you have to reload. And always save here before you fight Rex. Just because this fight can be tricky. If you still have a ration equipped and you don't mind using one ration. Because you're only allowed one ration to get the fox code and the big boss code. Again, I'm on hard so I'm just going for the fox ranking. Uh, I still have my ration. But I decided at this point I wanted to do it with using uh, no rations at all. But if you are getting stuck on Rex and you carry the ration all this way. Uh, I guess the best time for you to, to use it would be during the second phase of Rex. Uh, to start off with here, I always just use the chaff grenades I've got collected. Just throw a chaff. Uh, it sort of distracts Rex. He doesn't really he doesn't really shoot straight in this first phase. If you have a chaff, uh, his missiles sort of go all over the place. He can hit you, but the game does replenish you with full health before this fight. So it isn't that bad as long as you have the body armor equipped and uh, he doesn't hit you that many times. Uh, always again just be firing a chaff grenade and then fire a stinger and that's the pattern you really want to do. Uh, sort of stick to the, his left side and just sort of run around him in a circle throwing a chaff and then getting your uh, stinger out again. Don't, don't worry if you miss any shots because there's plenty of ammo around uh, the edge of the map. Um, like yeah, there's missiles in there if you need them. Don't panic about wasting ammo. Uh, I'm a pretty bad shot with this thing. Uh, but as long as you just stick to this method, you really should be able to get through this quite quickly. Not the fastest way ever. But it's how I like to do it quite safely and I think most people of different skill levels will be able to stick to the you know, throw a chaff, uh, move forward a bit uh, so you don't get hit by the missiles and just fire off another rocket on them. The second phase is trickier. I don't really have a speedy method for doing the second phase. I think some speedrunners have different methods to really speed it up and get your rockets off on liquid really quickly but this is just going to be a quite slow but safe method that I'm going to use uh, obviously you can't skip this little uh, cutscene moment where uh, Grey Fox is uh, basically dying uh, he's 
trying to give Snake a free shot on Liquid, but he can't fire the missile because he just he just can't be the one responsible for Grey Fox dying. Uh, stun grenades. If you have a few, you can use them to temporarily blind Liquid here, uh, just at the start of the fight, and then sort of get underneath him and sort of stay between his legs. Uh, it's really the safest place to be and get a shot on him from behind uh, and underneath just fire the pilot seat. I don't think it does as much damage as getting a direct hit on Liquid himself but yeah this is just the like safest and uh, most consistent way to uh, sort of do damage on him. Uh, yeah he will stop to fire a laser and stuff sometimes. And again, don't worry about missing too many shots with the stinger because his ammo is around the edges of the map. Uh, it's actually debated if stun grenades uh, actually blind him, but I think they do. Uh, sorry about all the flashing lights there, I accidentally paused the game at the wrong moment. Or went into the equipment menu at the wrong moment. Uh, sorry about that, anybody watching. Uh, stun grenades are always quite annoying to use in games because of the flashing light effects and whatever uh, so yeah I, I don't even have that many stun grenades left so that shouldn't be happening anymore uh, but yeah I'm just trying to get a good shot on him here yeah he can be annoying when you're doing this method like he just won't sort of stand where you need him to and I, I was sort of getting impatient there I didn't stick to the plan and this is what happens if you don't stick to the plan he will get out his laser and you might have a hard time getting back underneath him. Uh, I think I start taking a lot of damage because I get really impatient. Uh, but the key to this fight, doing it this slow way, is having patience. So yeah, try to avoid my mistakes. Uh, obviously keep a grenade equipped so Snake runs faster. If Snake doesn't have a grenade equipped, I think he's too slow to get underneath Liquid a lot of the time and he'll just get you with the laser and the laser does so much damage it's like pretty bad uh so yeah try not to let that happen that was a completely wasted shot i got him in that second one that i just spammed on him i was trying to be greedy here it was a complete mistake uh because now he's gonna get his missiles off on me and you know, the chaff grenades don't work now that liquid is doing his own aiming and he's not relying on Rex anymore so this is where things kind of went wrong I was trying to be impatient not sticking to the plan but I do manage to pull this back so if you're watching this this is just a little warning of don't get greedy uh, don't try to take him on from the front because uh, it wasn't part of this plan and I was just getting impatient you really want to just get a shot off on him from beneath and then just back off and keep staying underneath him until he sort of gives you an opportunity. It's really quite slow and you could do it a lot faster with other methods but this is just the one that works for me and that I've reliably been using. Normally I can do it without getting hit at all but because I got greedy and I was just trying to beat him as quickly as possible he managed to get his revenge on me so I was down to like one shot here. But as long as you sort of uh, stick to this method of staying beneath him, he really can never touch you really. Uh, but again, I think other people have a lot faster methods and ways to get through this where you uh, do face him from the front. But I think this is just easier even though it is quite slow. So yeah, just skip all your cutscenes again after this. And the final boss fight of the game will again uh, be Liquid. He'll give this sort of unskippable speech that you have to listen to. A uh, two or three minute speech here. Uh, I'll, I'll just skip through it as I've been skipping through all the parts that aren't You're that hard alive. or aren't really that so relevant. Uh, just to keep the video below an hour long like just so it uh, doesn't just take too long to watch and uh, it's easier I'm to upload. But yeah, I'm just showing this small bit of the cutscene really uh, just to let people know oh. you can't skip that. But afterwards, once you get into your fist fight, just run straight at like we get three shots on him and the third time you do that he's gonna be ready for you now 
so just throw one punch and run away from his kick and then you can do an R3 punches on him and yeah now he'll be trying to kick you again so just get one I accidentally kicked him so that kind of knocked him out but most of the time you want to just throw one stray punch at him when he's sort of getting into that stance eventually after he says nice shot he'll start punching back what you want to do is get your three punches and your kick in on him then back off till he does his little uh, punch animation he was in a very dangerous area for me here so I was being really careful running back uh, just to make sure I didn't run off the edge because if you fall off on hard or extreme I believe Snake just dies he doesn't grab the edge when he does that little roar to charge at you that's the signal for you to just completely get out of his way uh, watch when he's trying to do his big roundhouse kick again you'll see him sort of crouching and doing a weird animation when he's about to do that so sort of bait him into doing it and then run up and you can get your three hits in uh, what you're trying to do now is bait him into doing his uh, not his kick but his little bull charge so that he runs towards snake and you get out of the way and he hopefully ends up near the edge of Rex so you can sort of knock him off I was doing pretty well here I had taken no damage but he does ruin it on me uh, because I just mess up at the wrong time I think but yeah if I had got him here after this if I had knocked him off here he was just unfortunately not close enough to the edge I would have had a perfect no damage liquid fight which is pretty hard to do even on hard uh, or extreme it's pretty difficult to do uh, but yeah just keep dodging his big bowl run and eventually he'll do one that gets him like close enough to the edge you sort of have to bait him into running right to the edge by sort of standing near it yourself I actually didn't do the bowl uh, rush method there he just uh, got unlucky and I hit him with a kick but yeah that is the main idea is when he starts doing the bull rush sort of bait him to get close to the edge run out of the way Hurry! and when he sort of stands up after doing the bull rush get in behind him do your uh, three put your punches oh, wow. and your kick and you'll knock him off eventually so this is the final stretch now the last thing that trips people up is this car chase escape no basically stay near this broken one or the one without keys lure the guard sort of to come over there and just sort of mess about with this guy throwing him around uh, till you waste enough time for Otacon to tell you he has the keys so when the subtitle comes up telling Snake to jump in that's when it's time to run over there uh, try not to shoot these guys I was aiming for the barrels uh, just to keep your kill count lower you're only allowed 25 kills I think uh, and yeah I think those guys do add on to your tally so try not to shoot them and just take the hits uh, but I think I took them out by mistake I still do get 24 kills and maybe 23 kills and I get the fox rank anyway but yeah just be careful about that you do have to kill these guys uh, just quickly get the barrels don't bother shooting the guards themselves just get the barrels uh, the next uh, set of guards uh, there are no barrels but uh, what you want to do for them is take out the one on the left first uh, ignore the one in the center and then go to the one on the right and that's the best way to take as little damage as possible here take out this one on the left first ignore the center one get swung around get this guy on the right uh, just completely take him down and this one over here has been shooting the fire and sort of missing you so you can just uh, take them down last uh, now Liquid's gonna come back uh, chasing you also uh, just in case you didn't know to stay in first person view mode you have to hold down triangle and square at the same time just hold both buttons at once with your thumb uh, just hold down uh, whatever way works best for you uh, it's just a lot easier uh, to hold down both buttons at once uh, for liquid this first bit just swing from side to side quite slowly not completely uh, too fast and you will nick him just eventually after he does one of his little dodges uh, just keep slowly swinging from left and go back to right and you will hit him 
as long as you're going at it quite uh, like not overly fast at doing it. Um, then when it gets to this second stage, just try to line up with Liquid and just sort of stay over him. He will get hit sometimes, I haven't been able to avoid it myself. But just try to stay lined up with him and hit him as many times as possible. Because the way th this fight ends, it isn't actually anything to do with the timer or anything. It's just how many times you hit him. That's when the stage moves to the next one. So just be trying to hit him as much as possible. Uh, again, here back to the swinging side to side uh, method. I think you're going to have to do it a few times before he moves on this time. But if you're good at the swinging side to side parts, it's going to help you a lot for this next part if you have quite a lot of health left. Um, because this part, he always hits me here. Uh, I don't think you can avoid that, but when he's on your uh, side, just try to shoot at the wall at uh, just this one specific point and liquid will sort of keep driving back straight into it and you don't really have to adjust your aim that much. It is quite tricky to line it up but if you get it where you hit him the first time uh, he'll just like keep driving back straight into it. And basically after that if you have quite a lot of health like about the same level I have here um, you just uh, you can tank these last few shots. But don't give up shooting him because you do have to hit him another three times or so. And basically the cutscene will end then. And uh, you'll just skip all these cutscenes. I'll cut out the end credits just because uh, there's really no reason for us to watch them here. But they do count. They last about eight or nine minutes and they do count on your final playtime. So keep that in mind. Uh, they will be uh, nine minutes of your playtime will be on the end credits which is annoying that they decided that they should count but that's just the way it is uh, skip through your codec calls as quickly as possible and all the cutscenes and especially the cutscene that plays right at the end of the credits with the husky dogs running and Naomi uh, narrating some people forget to skip that but just make sure you do and once the credits are over and uh, you've watched all this or will skip through it uh, you will get your final ranking and you should hopefully if you did everything you should have managed to get the fox rank and done it under three hours and I used zero rations too so yeah thanks for watching people